Hey y'all, it's uh, Monday morning, Memorial Day here in Fern Creek, Kentucky. It's about uh, 10 after 8. Uh, getting ready to go take care of a customer of mine. And uh, it's supposed to be like 95 degrees today. We're supposed to break a record today. And uh, the rest of the week is going to be high 90s. So I'm hoping that's going to throw me a lot of work here. I've got uh, several checking cleans to go on. So, all right, y'all buckle up and uh, hold on. We're going on a ride. Okay, y'all, I'm back out here at Miss Case and uh, I went ahead and redid her safety. These, uh, these Diversitex, I think they're pure crap. Any, any little bit of water on, on this uh, electronic piece here, it stops it, any condensation, anything. Um, I'd rather have the one with the float in it, you know, that goes up and down. However, with this one, I just ran my secondary back took it back down here to the pan right here and I've got the uh, safety float inside the pan here all right y'all let me get out back and we're gonna do some uh, pull out the testo 550s today and uh, see what she's got going on out there all right y'all bear with me okay y'all we're back out to the truck and we're going to uh, clean up this uh, three and a half ton uh, rud unit I put in uh, I guess it was last summer um, she's clean. I'm just going through the uh, through the motions of uh, keeping her clean. Okay, that's the reason I ain't pulling that top. It's freaking clean in there, guys. Okay, just put it in. So uh, I'm going to uh, use this Enviro coil. You know, if you stay up with your maintenance, man, you don't have to do all that crazy stuff. So uh, let me get this filled up, and we'll uh, run in there and get some water out of the sink. I like doing that. That way it don't, uh, when you try to use the hose, man, it, it just bubbles everywhere. But anyway, let me get this done, and uh, we'll get her cleaned up. Y'all, I went ahead and took the lid off, man. I uh, had some leaves and debris down in there. I mean, it really wasn't going to hurt nothing, but might as well take it to the next level. Plus, it's hard to get to that coil right there. It's that coil. But as you can tell, she's clean as a whistle. As long as you stay up on your maintenance, guys, it'll it'll remain to look like this. Okay? Alright. Getting that too, guys. It's it's not that hard to, you know, just show a little effort and polish this unit up when you get done cleaning her. I mean it, it's it's in between, you know, doing your job and doing a good job. You know what I mean? Take pride in your work, guys. Alright, y'all. Okay, y'all, we got the unit cleaned up and uh We've uh, got the Testo 550s on, and uh, we're going to let it run for a good 10, 15, 20 minutes or so, and then we'll really take a really close look at it, man. Uh, just can't uh, fire it up, hook your gauges to it, and know what's going on. All right, y'all. Okay, y'all, we're looking for, uh, well, we don't want that, 19.9 uh, rated load amps, or run load amps, however you want to say it. Rated load amps is what it says here on here, and it's 19.9, so... Went ahead and hooked it to my common wire here on my uh, on my compressor here, and we're getting 11.8 to, to 12, somewhere like that. So we are excellent on that. All right, guys. Y'all, hey, it's about 94 degrees here, and uh, our unit's calling for uh, 12 degrees subcooling. Um, we're, we're at 12.4, uh, 12.2. Uh, 12 she may drop down to like 11.8, something like that. But that's that TXV opening. And our uh, super heat there is 13.5. Um, I think we're looking pretty good here, guys. I'm not going to split hairs on this. Um, I, I had a great charge in it before I left last summer, so I haven't had to do anything. Uh, let's see here. 114 PSI on the suction, 361 on the liquid. Uh, T1 is 52. T2 is 97. T1 is the suction. T2 is the liquid. Evaporator temperature is 38.3. Condenser temperature is 108.5, so we're looking great, guys. You know, like I said, 12 degrees is what we're looking for on the sub cool here. So we are, uh, we're dialed in, guys. So let me button everything down, and uh, we'll uh, we'll talk at you later. Thanks for watching, now. Bye. We're back home again, and <laughs> I got to share this with y'all. Look here, man. Oh man, ain't that something? Oh my goodness, so impressed. Thank you, Charlie. 